guys, this is Chris with CJ's Quail Calls. I've been getting a lot of messages about how to use the call and uh, how to know if you're doing it correctly. So I just wanted to make a little video for you guys so you could see the way I do it. So this is the, the original. Um, so the way I do it is I'll hold it in my middle finger up against my hand like that and then I kind of cup the call. And uh, you're blowing the same way you do with pretty much any call. You're using your diaphragm and not your cheeks. You don't want to blow like that. It doesn't work. You want the air to come from here, like hot air, <sighs> like that, okay? So with Valley Quail, what I'll do is I'll be driving in my area, and it looks like a good spot to try to call. So you get out, give them a minute or two. Don't slam your doors. Try to be quiet, you know? And uh, I'll just hit them with a one run through their notes so I'll do that and I'll give them about 30 seconds if they don't respond I'll hit them several times through the notes so that's what I'll do and generally give them calling about five minutes at each spot don't just give up after a minute or two and oh there's no birds here because they're wary birds they don't want to call back but at the same time they want to be together they're a covey bird they like to hang out with a lot of other birds so best thing you can do is spend some time with it if it's not working and you got two guys and two calls send a guy down the road a little ways 50 yards 100 yards and call back and forth to each other I found that that generally gets them a little bit more comfortable with calling back because they're thinking, oh, well, there's more than just one bird over there calling at me. So, and with Gamble's quail, you know, they sound a little bit different. They got that one note on the end that's different than a valley quail. But I've gotten them to call back with just as little as just going, <coughs> and they will call back to a valley quail, but the best way to do it is to run through the, all the notes, you know, and I do the same thing just like I do with valley quail is I'll run through it one time to begin with so let's do that I went twice right there <laughs> anyways that's what I'll typically do and I'll work them just like I do with valley quail just give them about five minutes just calling and calling send a guy down the road call back and forth to each other um, yeah that's about what I do but the best way to learn them is to listen to the birds in your area sometimes you don't have that luxury because you're hunting you know out of state or you're hunting a different area you haven't hunted before but I just default to that go through the calls the notes one time and uh, then I'll increase it over and over you get them to respond I'll typically typically call back to a quail a bunch of times, if I can get them to call, I love listening to them. So I want to call to them back and forth and back and forth. And you can actually move the birds in your direction. If you spend enough time and just continue calling and it's sounding well, they will come towards you. I've had hunts with my dad where he got them to come within 10 yards of us from about 50 yards out. So it does work. You just got to keep calling and keep calling and they'll come in. So again... Valley quail. And then a gamble quail. Yeah, that's about it. You got any more questions? Let me know. This is the original again. These are twelve bucks. Shipping six seventy-five. Doesn't matter how many calls you order. Thanks, guys.